Live from Yankee Stadium in the Bronx, the show has an AL East matchup. It's the Toronto Blue Jays taking on the New York Yankees. Joined by my partner, Chris Singleton, now, I'm John Chomby. Singing a guy who could change this game with one swing of the bat, John Carlos Stanton. He, of course, leads their team at home runs. Yeah, Boog, he's been such a force at the plate, and it seems like every time he connects, the ball is traveling out of the ballpark. So when you have such a threat like that, other guys in the lineup should get good pitches to hit because they're trying to get those outs instead of having to face him in a big situation. So just about set. And now the shortstop, Bo Bichette. Leading off tonight for the The shortstop. So Swing and a miss. And this one is off and a run. In the air out to center. Gallo puts the squeeze on that one. One down. Let's take a look at the lineup for the Blue Jays. And Chris, this group has been struggling to put up runs lately. Well, they haven't been on base a ton, and even when they are, they haven't been hitting very well with the runners on base. So they need a guy or two to really step up, have some quality at bats, hit according to the situation, and sort of break out of this. I think if they do, the rest of this lineup will follow. And first offering is fouled off. No score just getting started, top of the first. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. Now there's a certain point where you have to commit to what you think you see, and he guessed wrong right there. Nasty slider with just terrific bite at the end. Torres fires over to first. Quick start here this evening, two out, top of the first. Good slider inside right there. Batter fighting to get there, just rolled over it, got the ground ball. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Gallo has this one sized up, makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. One, two, three, go to Blue Jays. Blue Jays nothing. Yankees coming to bat. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. We go to the bottom of the first. Now it's the DH. DJ LeMahieu to the right side. Next one misses, and the count is one and one. A bit behind with that swing. It's strike one. And a pitch. And there's a foul ball. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing. That high fastball, you have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. That's a hit. Here is the young feed on Flavor Torres. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Looking at Torres, have to say, he's one of the most impressive young players I've seen in recent years. Well, no question about it. His future is very bright. The city, the organization, both are excited about him. He has a lot to look forward to. Next offering misses, and a count two and one. Run around the goal. Here's a high chopper. Gathers and throws to first. No chance at the double play with the runner in motion. Now the left fielder, John Carlos Stanton. Big time power. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. This one smoked out to left. He makes the catch, and there's two down. Here is Aaron Judge. Batting four. The right fielder. Aaron. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at one. For Judge, he's really developed into more than just a power hitter. He covers the plate well, shows impressive awareness of a strike zone to move. That's critical. Very important. If you want to be one of the best to ever play, it can't be all about it. A swing and a miss. That retires the side. And that'll do it. The Yanks lead one. Scoreless after. Welcome back. Second inning set to go. Here's George Springer to start it off. Severino back to work. That one blasted deep to right. That's back. Turning, looking, and that one is gone. 
George Springer leaves the yard. Third home run of the season, and they jump ahead in the second. It's 1-0. Singy, that's his 199th career home run. Well, 200 homers is an exciting number for anyone to get to. He's got to be looking forward to that next one a lot. That one was a hanger, and pitchers typically don't get away with making a mistake like that. And right there, he made him pay. Here's Guriel. That is big. The designated hitter. Swings through that one. 0-1. Oh, you just got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run. Go back to work. Focus on this next batter. And fouled off. Severino. That to right. Drops into the glove. And there's one away. Batting fifth, the right fielder, number three, Dylan. This Carlson. is Dylan Carlson. He has consistently been one of the best in the sport against lefties, and yet the righties give him trouble. You know, you don't want to be labeled as that guy, but the numbers say what they say. Severino kicks deals. In the air, out towards right center. Judge pulls that one down, two away down. That is seven. Now it's the Matt Chapman. Matt Chapman. Rolled over to third, Donaldson over to pick it up. Third out, and that ends the frame. One scores in the inning, coming on this solo home run. And the home team down a run. Back here in New York, here's Josh Donaldson. Here to go Pitch. for the Yankees. All Four one there. Josh Donaldson. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Tapia should have this one. Puts it away for the out. Anthony Rizzo steps to the plate. The first baseman. Anthony. First Rizzo. offering misses the mark. Count one and oh. The next pitch misses two and oh. When you get ahead in the count, there's no doubt that the success rate goes up, and that's what he's been doing. It's made a big Man. impact for him in recent games. Man. Next offering clips the zone count even at two. One down, base is empty. Line drive, takes it in for the out. Joey seven. Gallo steps to the plate. Joey Gallo. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Next pitch inside, and it's a ball to strike. Left hand batter waits. And the count one and two. The punch out there. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. So the Yanks go in order. And it remains one nothing. Top half of the third inning. And now for the Jays, Reese McGuire. Leading off for Toronto. The line to kick the pitch. Reese. McGuire. Line, and that's a base hit. And that knock bumps his that hitting streak nine. into double the digits, Chris. He's hitting Kevin. 10 straight. Yeah, and on a nice trajectory, average going up, OBP, everything he's doing at the plate right now just seems to be working. Kevin Biggio up to the plate. And 
and that one wrapped foul. McGuire on at first. Nobody out. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. Righty delivers. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. Judge makes the play one away. Bo Bichette up next, next up Blue for the Blue Jays. Jays. He's the 0 for 1. Bo Bichette. Bounced up the middle. Slings to second, and he'll eat it and be happy with the out. Now Rymel Tapia up to hit. Grounded out his first time. Lined, and that's a base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Right there, he does a great job of staying in the big part of the field. Man, there are a lot of hits there. And now the first baseman, Santiago Espinal. Ripped on a line. Stan makes the catch, and that'll do it. Set for the bottom of the third, and stepping in for the Yankees, Oswaldo Cabrera. And there's a fly ball, deep right field. That's back there, and it's gone. Oswaldo Cabrera with his first major league home run. A special moment in his young career. Who knows, maybe that'll open the floodgates for him. Yeah, getting that out of the way can be a big confidence booster. It feels like a huge weight just been taken off your back. You can go up there with a lot less pressure on you now, and I wouldn't be surprised if he gets hot for a little while. What do you remember about your first career homer, Chris? Well, I remember it was off of Omar Olivares, and you know, being there in Los Angeles against the Angels, just a tremendous day, great ballpark, and a special moment for sure. The one-two. And a foul ball. Tied up here in the early going. Hit softly on the ground to third. And that's just foul. Got him swinging. And that's the first out. Nice recovery after giving up the homer. Just couldn't catch up on the low 90s fastball right there. And that's a result of a good job of changing speeds. Off speed pitch on the one before that sped him up. Pitchers that don't throw real hard have to rely on location and mix it up to speeds. That wasn't the best location with the fastball, but clearly that wasn't the pitch he was looking for at the plate either. Next offering is in for a strike. Got it. Back to back strikeouts. Two Down outs, back. bases empty. Glaber Torres Glaber. will hit next. Torres. In there for strike one. Torres, a guy the Yankees acquired for Aroldis Chapman back in 2016. He is fearless. You can't tell if he's been in this league for eight years or two years. And a pitch. That one fouled off. Pitch misses. It's a ball and two strikes. Next offering way off the plate. Next one just misses. Counts full three and two. Stays alive. Kicks and deals. And down on strikes. And that is that. 
The Yanks do get one on the solo homer. All even now at 1-1. One, one. And welcome back. Here's the center fielder, George Springer. Severino back to work. The other way, and he beats the shift. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. I don't know how he's able to shoot that pitch the other way and still put something on. And that pitch was inside, and he let it get really deep. So pretty incredible hands to fight it off and still get good wood on it. There's one, and they get him easily at first. It's a double play. Digging in is the switch hitting outfielder, Dylan Carlson. Dylan Carlson. Out to short. Throw on to Rizzo, and that'll do it. We go to the bottom. Bottom of the inning, John Carlos Stanton to the plate now. Get a pitch. That misses the zone. Ball one. John Carlos Stanton, certainly a physical presence, and Chris, one of the more imposing guys at the plate in the entire sport. He's a force, and I think it's scary for pitchers thinking about making a mistake to him because you know you're not going to get that baseball back. He hits the ball so hard, you don't even have to watch him swing. You can just close your eyes and listen and know exactly who it is that hit the ball. The pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Comes a 2-2. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And there's one down. Well, one of the things that hitters will do is they'll look for that red dot on the baseball that's just coming in to let them know what the pitch is. And if they see the red dot, it's typically a slider. But when a guy's got a really tight one with high spin rates, very difficult to determine. And that's probably why we saw a swing and miss right there. Just a nasty pitch. He got away with one there, but he knows he can't go into that spot very often against a guy like this. The next offering misses, and a count one and two. On a line, base hit. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game. But all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Donaldson looks at a ball as he stands in for the second time. Down the line towards the corner. Carlson turns, moving to his left. Grabs it on the run. That's out number two. And here is Anthony Rizzo. The first baseman, Anthony. Next pitch downstairs, and it's one to no. Next offering is in for a strike. One and one. There's a strike. The fastball at the bottom of the zone can be very effective. Just got to keep it on the corners. And it's even up. Hard hit in the line. He gets there to make the play. A nice running grab. And that is that. One left for the Yankees. Score remains tied 1 1. Back for more from the Bronx. All set for the start of the inning. And now for the Jays, Matt Chapman. And that one is lifted in the air. And Aaron makes a nice grab out there. Here's the catcher, Reese McGuire. And he's already singled in this game. And first offering is fouled off. Well, you can't really adjust your game plan for that last pitch. Guy hasn't thrown it very much. You got to focus on the stuff that he's throwing up there most of the time. And he's down 0 2 as he swings through it. This game has been so tight. Feels like the next team to score will win it. Stays alive. The wind of the pitch. On the ground, right side, Torres handles the chance, fires over to first. 
And the first two set down on the top of the fifth. Now, uh, good fade and sinking action of that changeup. Got that hitter to roll over. This one lifted in the air, left field. And it one hops the wall. And that's a double. The batter, number 11. Bo Bichette up to the dish. And first offering is fouled off. At the belt and fires. That one pushed foul. The 0 2. On the ground to the left. Donaldson tosses the first in time. And that'll do it. Blue Jays. Back here at the ballpark, we head to the bottom of the fifth. And stepping in for the Yankees, Joey Gallo. Next offering is down low. And that is ball. Next offering is in for a strike. And here it comes. And now two and one. Two one pitches in there, and the count is even. And he deals. That misses. Three and two now. Righty to the plate. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. And the right-hander deals, and there's oh, ball it. four. Oswaldo Cabrera stepping in now for the Yankees. For the Yankees. First the pitch, and he just misses. Oswaldo Cabrera. Next offering is in for a strike. Gallo gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Comes up empty. That's strike two. With two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base. Try to stay out of a double play here. That one the other way. That's a base hit. Just got him on that one. Wow, this is one of those plays that happens sometimes, but it never really should. It seems like he just got a bad read on the ball, and the good throw from the outfield was perfect to get the out. And next for New York, Ben Workvet. First pitch, just misses. Next one misses. Yeah, that's ball two. Chris, with that distraction and a speedy guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. Next offering is down low. Foul ball there. 3 2 down. Swings and fouls one off. Here comes a 3 2. And ball four to a board. So the batting order turns over. And now the DH, DJ LeMay. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at all. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. A swing and a soft liner. And it falls. Cabrera rounds third, headed for the plate. Not in time. He's safe. Well, there you go. The RBI machine. Another clutch run scoring it back. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want. But his resume speaks for itself. The pitch. Strike two. Big pitch right here. He's going to try to make a pitch. It's going to produce a strikeout or a ground ball double play. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Picks up strikeout number seven. Well, clearly just anxious right there, and understandably so. No two count. You feel like you've got a lot of plate cover. 
and you Good don't want to strike out and you end up striking out. That's just one of those pitches where it's not over the plate but because you committed to it as it was leaving his hand by the time you realized it wasn't going to be in the zone it's too late to hold up your swing. Got him. Inning over. Five innings complete. It's the Yankees two. Top six. And now for the Jays. Rymel Tapia. Leading off with the Jays. With a right hander back to work. Rymel. And that one fouled off. I'm impressed by the number of first pitch strikes. He's not afraid of contact. Some guys, they'll nibble just because they don't want to get hit hard. That's not what we're seeing here. Ground ball up the middle. Torres over to first. And a quick out number one. And here's the first base. Santiago Espino. Hard hit down the line and left. And foul ball. The wind of the pitch. Popped up. Makes the grab and there's two gone. So up next for Toronto, George Springer. One home run shy of 200 for his career. That one is absolutely belted way back there. And it's out of here. George Springer takes him deep. His second home run of the game. And this game is tied. It's 2-2. Singy, somebody go track down that baseball. It's number 200 for him. 200 career home runs. That's legitimate power at the plate. And that's something that a lot of guys would dream of getting to. So two away with nobody on. And it's Lourdes Goriel Jr. Up next for the Blue Jays. The designated hitter. Goriel gets Lourdes. a piece. Goriel. To third. To first, but it pulls him off the bag. Didn't look to me like he got a great handle on the ball as it came out of his hand. Cold nights, not really fun to play in, and it makes it tough to hit as well. Makes it tough to throw, and might have played a factor right there. And a foul ball. Pretty frugal guy. He is very efficient with the pitch count in this one. And a swing and a line drive at a right field. Sliding and he makes the catch. Well, he had to make a quick decision there. Do I dive or do I slide? Perfect tech. Back at Yankee Stadium, John Shabby with Chris Singleton in the booth and leading off leading the bottom of the six, the Aaron Judge. The right field. Oh, Man, Aaron. that's just a nap. Judge. Next offering misses, and that's ball one. Oh, this is deep to left center, way back there, on its way, gone! When you're working with this kind of velocity, it's so critical that you move the ball around, work quickly, and make sure that you keep that hitter off balance. Clearly not fooled by the location or the velocity. He was all over that fastball. Late swing, fouled off. Okay, from here, he's got to treat this as a clean inning. Forget about the fact that his team is now down by a run. 
calls it in, and there's one away. Here at New Yankee Stadium in the Bronx, and they have this. Anthony. Now time is called here. Pitching coach on his way out to the mound. Rizzo, now in the box, comes up empty with a swing there. Yeah, you have to connect the past with the present, and they did a really nice job of the Monument Park out there where you can go and walk through and see the legends. This is New York. It is the greatest city, I would say, in the country, if not the world. So you expect them to build a ballpark that's going to be incredibly rich in that tradition. Next offering is in for a strike. And a foul ball, he stays alive. What about as a left-handed hitter and how short that porch is in right field? Were you ever tempted to just try and think in terms of... And there's the third out. That'll do it for the inning. Solo shot from Aaron Judge for the Yanks. It's... When you talk about elite defensive third baseman, this guy is at the top of the list. Severino back to work. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. The 0 1. Chapman gets a piece there. The tying run at the plate. Fought off foul. And the 0-2. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. So he's gotten deep into this game. And at least so far, not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. McGuire. Slow ground ball to the right side. And it goes just foul. And now the 1 Hit weakly on the ground towards second. Torres picks it up over to first. And two away to start the seven. The Kevin Madden. Biggio up to the plate. Secondly, Kevin Biggio. Swings through that one. 0-1. Pretty amazing, his first pitch strike percentage, over 90%. You know you're getting something in the zone first pitch. So if you're a hitter, got to be ready to let it fly. Even though Well, we'll hold that thought as that's the third out. And Julian Merriweather on the pitch out of the pen here. It's his job to keep his team in the game. Oh, he's having an excellent season so far. ERA is under two. A lot of flexibility coming out of the bullpen. Cabrera takes the ball go. high. The Third Yankees. trip to the plate for him here. That's shortstop. Oswaldo Cabrera. Saying four homers in 22 games at Old Yankee Stadium. What do you remember? Well, I remember my rookie year hitting two in one game. And, you know, before that game in the clubhouse, there was a gentleman there who owned a suit company there in downtown Manhattan and he said to me hey kid you hit a home run in the game tonight come over to the store tomorrow and I'll give you a free suit good plate appearance there able to take the walk you know Bill it's been said these guys are savages in the box you can see it right there with such tight plate discipline drops a bunt down the first base side there to beat him by an eye so I went into the game, I happened to hit two. When I walked into the store the next day, and he looked at me, he said, you're trying to put me out of business, aren't you? And that was a great, great experience that I had as a rookie playing against the Yankees, playing in New York. Cabrera, the runner at second with one away. Next pitch misses, and now it's even one and one. So did Super Joe give you two suits? Super Joe hooked me up with two suits. The two one. Pitch misses, and a count is three and one. Check swing, went around, and it's three and two.
Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Tapia makes the play, and there's two down. And up next for New York, Glaber down Torres. Back. Second baseman. And Boog, I'd say he's Play due. Ball. First pitch oh, doesn't find the zone. Runner at second, two down. Next offering is in for a strike. That's a strike, and it's one and two. Righty deals. And a swing and a miss. The hat trick. And that will end the end. So here comes the big lefty Aroldis Chapman to the mound. And this guy can bring it velocity wise. Well, I think that what makes him so tough against left handers is he hides the ball for a long time. And from that same side, harder for you to determine which part of the plate it's going to end up on. Chapman now, one run game. This one high in the air to left center. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. One up, one down. Now Rymel Tapia up to hit. One for three. And he swings and misses at the initial offer. Activity in the bullpen for the Yankees. Lucas Litke, the closer, is getting loose. Britton getting cranked up as well. One in the air center field. Gallo settles under it. He's got it. And there's two away. The first baseman, number five. And next Santiago. for Toronto, Santiago Espinal for the fourth time tonight. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at one. Comes up empty on this swing, 0-2 oh, now. Well, no signs of wavering on the mound here in the eighth. It's looking rock solid so far. The 2 Squibbed out in front of the plate. Rwanda Rizzo, third out. Back in New York. Leading off for the Yankees. Time called as the pitching coach makes a visit to the mound. One reliever still getting loose out the pen. New pitcher now, Jimmy Garcia. He last pitched four days ago, so he should feel pretty fresh. Here comes the pitch. Ball one, no strikes. Next pitch is outside. 2 0 count to a guy with this much pop at the dish. Better expect him to be turning on something. It's going to either get hit hard to the pull side or the fans better look out in the stands. Swing and a miss, and now two and two. Oh, well, that's that slurp right there. He threw it extremely well. Talk about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. One away. Well, like tough night at the Number dish. Punching out for the third time Aaron. right there. He just hasn't looked very God. comfortable with the plate. A little unsure of his timing right now. Not picking up the spin and location oh. of these pitches. We'll have some adjustments to make. Judge takes a ball here as he stands in now. Right side. Espinal picks it up. Judge out of the He's play. Out. Two outs. Now base is empty. Now, now it's Josh Donaldson's turn Jump. to hit. Double and that's in there for strike one. Next offering upstairs. Next offering is in for a strike. The pitch. Stays alive.
The next offering misses. And that's ball three. Got him looking. That's his second strikeout. One, two, three, go to the Yankees. But they're up three to two. New pitcher coming on, the veteran, Lucas Litke. This southpaw's been really good against left-handed hitters. And it'll be George Springer to step to the plate. He's got a couple homers already, so can he possibly do it again? Come on, man, of course he can. Those two he hit were legit, and he looks pretty locked in right now at the dip. The pitch. And first offering is fouled off. In the air, left side. And there's a hit. No, he didn't get much of that one, but it's going to look like a line drive at the box score tomorrow. Loop that one in there for the knock. Definitely got that pitch on the outside of the cap a little bit, but he made it work for him. Now a huge at bat in this game coming up. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. Uriel gets a piece. Out front and foul to the left side. He's gone off speed. He needs to elevate here with two strikes out of the zone. Here's the 0-2. Hard ground ball for a base knock. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Just a clutch at bat right there. Big time swing when this team really needed it. He kind of rolled over on this pitch a little bit, but he got enough behind it to shoot it through for a knock. And you'll take that anytime you can get him to find a hole. A chance now to even the score and maybe extend this game. Making the move at first. Pinch running here. Gosuke Kato. This is Dylan Carlson. This is what stat nerds like myself might call a high leverage situation. Yeah, but not sure what the numbers say, but clearly an at bat that could change the course of this game dramatically. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. That's a base hit. Throw comes back in. The tying run stops at third with nobody out. Now Matt Chapman up to the plate now. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already is Matt stays in the zone. On. And meanwhile, this a fair ball down the left field line. One runs in. Another comes in to score. It's 4-3. It's a two-run double, and they have the lead. Clutch hit right there to give them the lead this late in the ball game. Got the top of the ball a little bit, but not much. That was hit pretty hard through the infield, so I think he'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bounce. Number 43. Well, I forgot. Here's Reese McGuire. Swing and a pop-up. Cabrera on his way over. He's got it. And that is a big first out. Kevin Biggio with a chance to hit. Second base. Kevin Biggio. Swings and sends a rocket to right. The tag gets him, and it's a double play to end the inning. Here at New Yankees. Leading off for the Yankees. And the time baseline. is called for a mound visit Anthony. now. Big moment in this game. So they'll talk it over. Ladies now it's Jordan Romano out of the bullpen. And he'll work on holding this lead. These home fans, they are making a lot of noise, putting pressure on that pitcher out there. Left hand hitter waits. Ball one low. Next offering is foul back. Right hander kicks deals. Pitch misses there. The count now two and two. And a foul ball, he stays alive. 
Next pitch is outside. This to third. Whips it across. One up, one down. No doubles defense right now, and the positioning was perfect on that play, and that's what you do it for just in case. And they prevented an extra base hit. Gallo in the box now takes a cold strike. Home team down a run. Here the last half of inning number nine. Checks his swing. Now would appeal to third. Ah, and he punches him out. He went around. Simply said, this guy's flailing yeah, at the plate right now. Not Just sure. disconnected from oh, head to toes in terms of the sink of his body. That's his fifth strikeout of the series, and we're just two games in. So hoping to see some kind of adjustment out of him. His at-bats are just a little tough to watch right now. And there's the strike. Next offering is in for a strike. Get a little frustrated with the strike zone. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. When you win five in a row, the confidence just goes to another level, and you start to gain this momentum, and you think that you're never going to lose a game again because things are clicking up and down the lineup. Pitchers are pitching. Guys are making the plays defensively. This is the kind of feeling. It's not going to last all season long, but you want to ride it as long as you possibly can, perhaps push it up to double digits. And the final score here, 4-3. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chambi saying so long. Fans, our final line score tonight. First for the victorious Blue Jays, four runs on 10 hits, no errors. They left six men on base.